Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another... Hey, what are you doing? What's that? Don't you even think of that? In this video, we're going to finish up setting our score. So that once we collect a coin, it adds a point to our score. To do that, we're going to need a new variable. So we're going to create an application level variable, and I'm going to call this one count. Once again, this will be an integer, and its default value is going to be zero. So what we want to do, we want it to add one to our count if we collect a coin. To do that, we're going to go to our coin prefab. All right, and in here where we're setting the Boolean to false, we're instead going to add one to our count, and then we will do this after it. So let's break this branch. I'm going to move these down here, create a little bit of space. So if it's true, uh, we want to set our count variable. So what do we want to do? We want to go down and we want to add right, one to the value. And what value do we want to use? Well, we want to use the value of count. So we will get count. All right, we will add one to it and we will set that to our variable. So once it's done that, we're just going to then disable the game object. So let's check this out. If we hit play and then we jump into our coins, we should be able to see our count. All right, we should be able to see our count will increase. So that's two. Excellent, and if we reset the scene, right, we lose lives, but our count keeps increasing. Alright, that's perfect. So now we've set this up, we need to jump into our uh, user interface and set up our score part of it. So if we save our work, and then jump into our user interface, we're going to open up our user interface uh, canvas and we're going to select our score. So what do we need to do here? Well we're going to add a flow graph to it. So a flow machine. Uh, we're going to embed this one again and this is where we're going to control our score. We're going to remove our start event because we're not going to use that. So we're going to be using our update event. Now what do we want it to do? We want to set our text. So we're going to go text, set text. Right, and it's going to be adjusting the text itself. Now what do we want it to display? We want it to display two things. We want it to display the value of our count. So we're going to get our count. Right. Now this is giving us a number. To display it as a text we need to convert it to a string. So we're going to drag off this and we're going to go to string. All right, so we're going to go down until we find integer. We want integer to string. Now we don't just want to put in our number. We also want to put in the word score. So we're going to add a unit and we're going to add a string. All right. And the string value is going to be score. All right, make sure you leave a space at the end, otherwise it will put our number right beside it. And now we need to join these together. So we're going to go string, and we're going to go a concatenate All right, with two arguments. So this will be our argument zero, this will be our argument one, and then we're going to input that in. So what should happen now is if we go back to our game and we play the game, it will display the word score with a space and then it will read our variable for count, turn that into a string or a displayable number and put that beside it in our text. So if we save our work, go back to our sample scene and press play,
and now we get our score is zero and our three lives so let's jump up and collect some coins and you can see as you collect all right, it will keep counting that's it for this video ladies and gents see you in the next video